Gotta get the uh, ambiance going here. Two out of three ain't bad. Hey guys, it's V. I'm using new lighting-ish. I have a lamp over here. That's my <laughs> that's my version of new lighting. And it's about six o'clock in the evening. So let me know if this looks any better for me to film later in the day because I've noticed that the videos that I film earlier in the day on like weekends usually look a little bit better than the ones that I film during the week on uh, weeknights. So let me know if this looks any better or worse. Your input is always appreciated. Anyways, today I have a new product for you guys to test out and that is this set. It is a Sonia Kashuk set from Target. Let me get the actual full name of it one moment. So this set is called the Limited Edition Ombre Obsession 7-Piece Set and it was $27.99 at Target. You can only get Sonia Kashuk at Target. So if you want some Sonia Kashuk, then you gotta go to Target. But what I'm about to tell you is that I was not a fan of this at all and i am so sad because it was so pretty like look at this ombre look at how many different types of brushes you get i mean all signs pointed to yes but all usage pointed to no no so i used let me just take them out of their package one by one and talk about them for you guys so like I said, this set is only $28 and you're getting seven brushes. So that's only $4 per brush. So I'm like, that's a super amazing deal. I've heard good things about Sonia Kashuk. I own a couple Sonia Kashuk brushes. So I'm like, what could go wrong? Apparently a lot. <laughs> so the reason that I bought these was because I watched a YouTube video that the person said they were really soft and I was like, all right. So the first one that I was really excited about was this one, which is a dense blending brush. That's what this one is. So I used this to actually put on my foundation because it looked a lot like a foundation brush that I have been using to buff in my liquid foundation lately. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this with my liquid foundation. These feel really soft initially. They really do. They feel super soft. And then you put some product on it and you start rubbing it on your face and it's not soft anymore. I don't understand the physics behind this. I really don't get it because I started to put on my foundation with this. It was buffing out. It was okay. I mean, it wasn't the softest brush I've ever used, but I was going to get over it. And then it started shedding and not just like one little red hair because I could handle that. It shed at least 10 little hairs all over my face, all over the liquid foundation I was wearing. So I was like, um, no, I'm not using you for liquid foundation. Maybe I can find some other usage if I really like the rest of the brushes in the set. Maybe I can use this for blush like it recommends instead of using it for liquid foundation. But either way, it sheds. And I mean, that's just not not okay with me. I really like I the one Sonia Kashuk brush, the other one that I have, it does shed when I clean it, but it doesn't shed when I use it. So I was like I was very upset because I really liked this brush and it's ombre. Like look at that. It's so beautiful. It's such a pretty high-end looking brush, but it's just it wasn't good. So then this brush I was also really excited about because look at it. It's really cool and it's different. It's a stipple brush. It's really, really cool. It's huge. I don't have a brush like this. I have a stipple, stipple brush, but not one nearly this size. They call this one the dual fiber multi-purpose brush. So I use, that was really not easy for me to say for some reason. So I use this for my blush and let me just tell you, it's too big. It's too big for blush. It really is like, cause I mean, look at how much that gets all up in my cheek. So I put this on and it like packed it on number one and number two, it just, it took up way too much product and I just, I mean, it was kind of soft, but like I said, these feel really soft on your hands. And then when you put them on your face, they all of a sudden just aren't soft anymore. So I really don't understand, but this was just a little too big for what I needed it for. So I was like, okay, strike two, two out of seven brushes. I'm like, what the hell? And it also shed on me. So then the next brush in this set is the Synthetic Pointed Concealer Brush. And it's just a, you know, pretty basic concealer brush. It's very, very hard, which is a reason why I ended up not liking it. And um, this one actually didn't shed. This is the one, no. 
this is one of three of the brushes that didn't shed. So four out of the seven shed, three of them didn't. But I assume if I'm gonna clean this, it'll probably shed. But like I said, this one was just too hard for my under eye area. Like I get you need something that's a little bit more dense for concealer, but this one was just too dense. Like it's just too hard for me. So I was not a fan of that one. Then the next thing in this set is the small eyeshadow brush. I kind of liked this. It wasn't terrible. Like it wasn't as bad as the one that shed all over me, but it did shed when I put eyeshadow on it. So shedding is an issue apparently with Sonia Kashuk, unfortunately. But this one was just okay. Like I said, it's just not soft. Like I really was expecting these to be a lot more softer than they were. And this one just wasn't very soft. It worked. But like, I don't want to poke myself in the eye every time I'm putting on my makeup. That's not enjoyable at all. Then you get a blending brush, which, um, look at this brush. It screams Vienna. I have like 13,000 of these brushes and I'm like, sweet, another one to add to my arsenal. Not soft. It wasn't soft. Like I really, I have a lot of crease brushes that aren't too soft and I just kind of deal with them. But I'm like, man, I already don't like four of these brushes and now this one is just not good. So I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. The next one in here is a pointed crease brush. And I mean, it worked, but the texture of these brushes is just terrible. I mean, I used this for my outer corner and it just, it blended okay, but it really kind of just like packed it on a little bit too strongly for me. Really, really small and it just, it didn't really work the way I wanted it to. So I wasn't a big fan of that one either. And then the last one you get is this really, really tiny little smudge brush which I really needed a one of these because I don't really have very many brushes that I can use under my eye to kind of get, you know, under the lash line with some eyeliner or some eyeshadow. This one hurt. It was painful to use. It's so dense. It was painful to use this on my under eye area. It was not an enjoyable experience. I did not like it one bit. So all in all, I honestly do not recommend this brush set. I'm sorry to say that because I, they're beautiful brushes. They really are. And I really wanted to like them, but I am most likely going to end up taking these back because I cannot handle it. And I just, I don't think that they are worth the awesome value that they could have been. And I'm really sad because they're beautiful. They really are beautiful, but they just were not for me. <laughs> So that is my review for you guys today. Sorry, it's not a positive one, but they all can't be positive. So if you like this video, be sure to show some love to that like button down there. It really helps me out. And if you subscribe, you can be one of my gypsies and every single one of you guys count. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.